You cannot see an archetype. It is an energy. It's a magnetic field. So that if I have a little piece of paper here and I put a magnet underneath it, you don't know the magnets there, you throw iron filings on top of that piece of paper, they will take the shape of the magnet underneath. Archetypally, cross-culturally, we have many um, symbols of the Great Mother. Kuan Yin in Asia is an archetype of the Great Mother who is the teacher of mercy and compassion. Guadalupe in Mexico, the dark virgin who uh, is the archetype of forgiveness and uh, the archetype of uh, being able to bring abundance and generosity uh, through uh, connecting with the good, true, and beautiful in one's nature. And the Great Mother archetype is able to hold great joy and happiness and also great suffering and sorrow. Uh, and out of that, uh, not value one more than the other. And every human being really desires to be happy, and every human being really desires to be free of suffering. And the Great Mother archetype is, is the crucible where we can hold happiness and liberation from suffering. And where there is great violence in the world, you will have the archetype of the Great Mother that's gone underground or has been violated. You know, my normal way of being is really to support, encourage, praise, feed, take care of everyone who comes into my, my household. Um, but if because of, you know, oppression, uh, discrimination, uh, abuse, disrespect, I lose the equilibrium that I need to do this function, you know, which is, is very innate, uh, then I, I cannot, I cannot, you know, I cannot be this being that I am here to be. Um, and so when you think about all the women, the mothers in, in the world who are just not only not supported, but are actively being ground into the dirt it's no mystery that the world is in the shape that it's in. And it is so unbelievable, really, you know, how something so precious and so loving has been relegated, not just to the back of the bus, but, you know, under the bus. And everywhere she is just, you know, really disrespected at the higher end and then at the lower end, you know, just obliterated. We are totally dependent on the Great Mother. The Earth is our Great Mother. The spiritual Great Mother. How we can ignore her, despise her, how we can do that and not recognize that we are killing ourselves. Or worse, our children and our grandchildren. And go on doing it. Is simply beyond comprehension. Well, in terms of the mother, you find yourself uh your way back to the heart by respecting her and by putting her back where she belongs, in the center uh, of society and of life, with gratitude and thanksgiving and joyfulness and celebration. No stinginess, you know, about your praise and appreciation. Put her back where she belongs and where she has been for so much longer than any religion, including Buddhism.